Botulism is a paralytic disease. It is caused by neurotoxins that are produced by the anaerobic bacterium Clostridium botulinum. This bacteria exists as spores in soil and in aquatic environments where they are dormant until the right conditions appear. When this happens, they start to grow and they produce the botulinum neurotoxin, which is one of the most toxic compounds known to man. There are seven different types of botulinum neurotoxins. Botulism affects both humans and animals, but most cases of animal botulism are due to type C and D, whereas humans are mainly affected by type E, A, B, E and F. Botulism can occasionally cause large outbreaks of high mortality in animals, especially in birds, but also, uh, for example, in cattle. In Sweden, we have had several outbreaks in poultry during the last decade, but also uh, some in waterfowl. The genetic content of these strains were compared using pulsed filled gel electrophoresis. This revealed that the strains could be organized into only a few clusters, regardless of their origin, and that one genotype seemed to be more common in Europe than the others. Strains from the different clusters were selected for whole genome sequencing. It turned out that these genomes they contain an abundance of plasmids, phages and insertion sequence elements. All these are mobile elements that are shared between strains causing animal botulism. We also found that some strains have the potential to also produce several toxins in addition to the botulinum neurotoxin. Most of these toxin genes are located on plasmids and phages, which indicate that a reservoir of virulence genes can be exchanged between strains. The the disease mechanism behind animal botulism is not fully understood and this area of research needs to be developed in the future. This work will continue in a project that includes several partners in Europe. That project will focus on epidemiological investigations and on de the development of tools for diagnostics, prevention and control of the disease in animals.